All right, back for another beer review, and today I'm reviewing a beer from the Trillium Brewing Company, and they're out of both Boston and Kent, Massachusetts. And this is their True New Englander. This is a double IPA that comes in at 8.1% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in the time of review. This can is just over three weeks old. And I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to the guys over at NerdSense, Sean and Mike, for hooking me up not only with this beer, but a bunch of others. In the description box, I will post a link to their channel, along with the beer mail unboxing video I did of said goodies they sent my way. If you haven't checked out their channel, highly recommend doing so. They are great dudes. They have awesome content. And their channel is, it has such a chill and relaxed vibe to it that I love it. So go over there, check it out, see what you think. But I think they deserve way more subs than they have. But anyway... This beer, I'm excited to get into it for a couple different reasons. Number one, it's been three or four months since I've had any Hop Ford Trillium beers. Sean and Mike did send me, uh, they, they said, what did they send me? They sent me a, um, a stout for my Who Done It beer review series, and I did very, very poorly on it. So uh, I want to drink something from them that kind of erases that memory. Um, it's never going to erase that memory. I did such a bad job. But anyway, uh, the other reason that I want to get into this beer is they are using the relatively new Sabro hop. I had that hop in a beer for the first time a couple days ago, and it was Six Point Brewery's uh, Dabble. It was Sabro, Cashmere, and Idaho 7, so it was a mixture of hops. And it produced this like really distinct pina colada vibe, and that's because Sabro hops uh, produce like a distinct coconut character, which you guys know I'm coconut feed and I love it. I don't know if they're using any other hops in this beer outside of Sabro, but regardless, I am very interested in getting into this one. And they have a lawn chair on the label here with this uh, with this beer in a can uh, on the armrest and then a shovel. So, you know, I'd imagine they're going for a, when they say true New Englander, Typical New Englander will probably see a lot of snow during the winter time, and then they sit down and enjoy a beer after shoveling it. Just like in Western New York here, same thing. Anyway, I'm gonna roll it here just to be safe, and we're gonna crack it open and throw it into some hashtag proper glassware, and we'll get into it, so. So you guys know how Trillium rolls. They, uh, you know, New England style IPAs all day, every day. Anyway, that pours out this really deep, murky, turbid, just, Basically, it's like a golden yellow color, but it's very turbid, so it doesn't it doesn't look it might not look like it on camera. It might probably come out uh, come off a bit darker on camera. It has about a half finger of an off white, yeah, an off white head. It's dissipating very very slowly. But yeah, that looks like a trillium juice bomb. Let's get a nose on it. Okay. So in the nose, it is screaming citrus fruit and pineapple. A lot of like uh, acidic orange, um, ruby red grapefruit, uh, sweeter, like a sweeter lemon character, like a lemon sorbet. But there, then there's definitely some pineapple, a little bit of a lychee in there as well. A touch of like a passion fruit is, as well. There's a slight earthiness underneath everything, but outside of just like the full on juice aspect of this one, there isn't like a lot of... Um, herbaceousness or dankness or like pine or anything it's just like a nondescript earthiness underneath it yeah it smells it smells like a pretty damn tasty juice bomb let's see how it tastes cheers everybody and thanks again sean and mike that's pretty tasty one thing that i always notice from some of the kings of the New England style IPAs is just a mouthfeel. Trillium, Treehouse, for me, other half. Just so many of them. They're just so nice. 8.1%. This one's like higher side of medium body, which is perfect for me. But then it's so soft and smooth and like pillowy and, and slightly creamy. And it just has such a fucking fantastic, fantastic mouthfeel to it. The flavors, though... Honestly, I couldn't tell you they're using Sabro hops in here based on my experience with a dabble from Six Point, as I mentioned. Then again, that was using cashmere, like I said, and Idaho 7. And cashmere also can produce a distinct coconut flavor. So maybe that's why I was getting coconut and pina colada vibes for that one. Uh, this one, though, the uh, nose kind of follows suit in the taste. A lot of like acidic orange, juicy orange, ruby red, juicy grapefruit as well. A little of that lemon sorbet, lemony character is Pretty big on the citrus for me, but then lychee and pineapple uh, follow as well. 
It has a ever so slight bitterness, but a semi-dry finish as well. It's sweet up front, but that dryness and a little bit of bitterness kind of cuts the sweetness. I wouldn't necessarily say it makes for a balanced beer, uh, but it stops it from being too sweet. That's a fucking, it's, a, it's delicious. It's a tasty beer. It's not really, you know, <clears throat> it's not like setting a new standard or anything. And I do want to try more beers with Sabro hops in it. For this one, I couldn't tell you there's Sabro in here based on my very limited one beer. What, I don't know, two, one beer experience. This will be the second one. But it doesn't matter because I'm enjoying what's in the glass right here. Have no problem putting down the rest of that can, and I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Uh, like I said, nothing that's blowing my mind, but at the same time, it's pretty damn delicious. So, true New Englander from Trillium, I'm going to give that a 4.25 out of 5. Damn tasty beer. If you've had this one or you have this one currently in your fridge, uh, let me know about it. What do you think about it? Did you get pick up on any coconut or pina colada vibes? And uh, yeah. What about the Sabro hop? I'm curious about that one to see if that becomes bigger in 2019 if more breweries try to get the pina colada vibe in a New England style IPA because I hope more uh, breweries use it because you guys know I love coconut and pina colada is pretty damn delicious as well. Anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by for another review and until the next one, cheers and oh yeah, thanks again Sean and Mike, I do appreciate it.